Hello, hello, it's Debbie Stroud. Want to pop in and tell you something that's been on my heart today. So three years ago today, April the 5th, 2016, I had gastric bypass surgery. Now, it's not that's not a thing that I publicize to everybody I meet, but it is a part of my journey. And all of us bring something different to the table, right? So things that I resonate with may not be the same things that you resonate with even though we have some things in common and so three years ago I began this journey in the last three years I've lost a hundred and twenty pounds now I have two things to say about that number one I did not take an easy way out yes weight loss surgery does help you lose weight whether you want to or not within a certain time frame but after that um, it's all up to you. So try after 50 years of your life, relearning every way that you eat and everything that you eat and relearning a whole new way of life. Example, last night, uh, for the past two days, I've been on spring break. And so I went and, whoops, sorry. I went and spent some time with, uh, two, uh, actually all three of my daughters. Last night we went out to graders. It's a like ice cream slash coffee place uh, in northern Kentucky and we went there and hopefully trying to find something that was sugar-free because the kind of surgery that I've had I, I only eat like sugar-free sweets so we walked in and they didn't have anything sugar-free and my daughters felt really bad and I was like gosh don't don't feel bad about that that's my choice I got a coffee I sat there with them they ate their ice cream happily and it was good and that's because that's my choice, right? What we allow in our lives is what we choose to allow in our lives. And and ladies, listen, I'm talking I'm talking to you. I just got off the phone with um, a dear friend of mine that told me some things that were going on in her life, and she said, kept you know saying, um, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't keep on doing this, I can't keep on doing that. You can keep on doing whatever you want to keep on doing. If you want things to change, the verbiage has to change from I can't do this or I can't keep on doing that to I will not. You are the priestess. You are the priestess of this temple. This body is your temple. You are the priestess and you decide what is allowed in the temple and what the temple will tolerate and what the temple will not tolerate. Right? It's all a matter of choice. I also want to talk to you today about um, some amazing, always I talk to you about this because it's such a passion of my heart, of um, reconnecting women, especially middle-aged women, reconnecting women to their art. And I call it heart with the A-R-T capital, reconnecting women to the joy of creating. Um, if you are a middle-aged woman, by that I mean, you know, 45 on, 50 on, uh, you're at a place in your life where you've done everything for everybody else, right? Your kids, and now maybe even your kids are grown and you have grandkids, and uh, you've done everything for everybody. Life, life happens. But then what happens when the kids do their own thing and they grow up and do their own thing what happens to you well all of that all of those things and sometimes uh, art is included those things that we have found very very joyful and very very happy in our lives we've packed those things up in a suitcase stuffed them back in our closet as far as we can get and every once in a while we look back at that closet and we think oh my gosh how I used to love to do that but I don't have time to do that now and so we we shove it back a little bit further well now that Maybe the kids are grown and maybe you're you're at that point where that longing is still inside of you and you're thinking, you know, maybe I should get that suitcase back out. That's what I'm here for. That I want to help connect you to that passion of and I see that there are two people here and I'm sorry because I'm kind of like a Facebook live uh I don't know who you are, but thank you for being here. Um so Connecting women back to their art. There's a happy place. There's a happy place that all of us have that is something in our lives where we get there and it's like a Zen moment. It's like the flow and we're in the flow and all of this time passes and we're just like, 
we look up at the clock and a couple of hours have passed and we're like, geez, how did that couple of hours pass, right? Um, that's the happy place. That's the flow. And just having the freedom of creating can get you there. I want to speak to fear just for a minute because a lot of you are uh, the middle-aged women that I meet that are looking at getting back into their art. Hey, Hope, the, the middle-aged women I meet that are looking at at getting back into their art have a big thing of comparison and they're like geez I haven't made art in I don't know how long and how in the world am I ever going to compare to the people that have been making art all along and what I have to say to that is think about this what would happen if when you were taking a walk in the forest if only 10 of the birds decided to sing what would happen if you um if you decided to walk in a beautiful forest and only 10 of the trees had decided to grow, it would make a big difference, wouldn't it? Or if you went to um, anything, like if you went to a butterfly garden and only 10 of the butterflies decided to show up because they thought they were the best butterflies or because um, the top 10 birds that were singing thought they were the, the best birds and they were the only ones that needed to be singing. Listen, that's hogwash. What we would be missing out on doesn't matter your ability doesn't matter what your artistic ability is or what your artistic ability isn't whatever you have the world needs it and the world needs it now not well I'll wait a few years and then maybe get into this whatever gift you have the world needs it now more than ever and so I implore to you do whatever it is that you have, whatever giftings you have on the inside of you. I don't know what they are. I can't begin to guess for some of you what they are. Whatever they are, whatever is resonating on the inside of you right now, do it because the world needs you. The world needs your gift and you have a gift that only you can give. I have a gift right now that only I can give. There are people that I can reach that some of you cannot but there are some people that you can reach that I have no audience with. So I am, I'm not begging you. I am imploring to you as a sister, do whatever it is that you're good at. I love you. Have a great day.